everyone, it's Alice and today we are going to do something I'm hoping is going to be a fun experiment. Basically, the idea for this video is to get AI to recommend me books and I'm going to read them and see how it goes. I'm going to split this into two parts. We're going to make the TBR today and then hopefully it'll recommend me some books that I want to read and then I'm going to get the books and read them in like part two or whatever you want to call it but we're gonna make the tbr today and the reason that i thought of doing this is i started using chat gpt at work i use it <laughs> for excel it makes like excel formulas for me and it is so helpful and i was at work one day doing this and i thought hmm I wonder if this could recommend me some good books. There is obviously a discussion to have around these things and where it pulls information from and especially with AI that makes art and things like that. There is a whole conversation to be had around it. But this video is just for kicks, you know, it's just for fun. So hopefully <laughs> that's okay. I think it's gonna be interesting. One of the reasons that I want to try this is that I want to try to get it to recommend me books that I have a really hard time finding. There are certain types of books that I have like searched high and low for and I can't find them. And maybe this can find it for me. And it's things that I've been searching for for a while or there's just things that I'm always looking for. We'll see how it goes. If it can't recommend me the things that I want the most, I'll find something else. But yeah, hopefully it'll recommend me some fun books. Basically, we're gonna make the TBR today and I'm thinking I wanna get like three solid book recommendations and then for the reading vlog, I'll get those books and then I'll read them and we'll see how it goes. I really wanna try and find good book recommendations, obviously. So I've noticed with ChatGPT that you have to sort of talk with it a little bit to get what you want and I'm gonna do that to try to get a solid recommendation. I will probably steer away from books that I've heard of and obviously I won't be reading books that I've already read so I want to try to get new things and things that I haven't heard of before. If you've never used this before it is very easy to use. You can see at the side here that I've asked for <laughs> stuff for work like excel formulas and that i had to do a presentation and i asked some questions about that because i needed help and it explains a little bit here like what it can do and what it can't do and i feel like you have to you can't just ask for like something like a book recommendation like can you recommend me a literary fiction book you'll get it's too much so you have to be a little bit specific about the things that you want and I'm gonna try to give it references to things that I like and hopefully that will help. So the first book recommendation that I would like to get out of this is a recommendation for a new adventure book. I love adult adventure books but they're very difficult to find, at least the kinds that I want. And I have, been, like I regularly look for them and I have a really hard time finding them. So I'm hoping that this might give me a cool adventure book recommendation. So I'm gonna try to like reference some books and movies I like and I hope that it's gonna give me something cool. A funny thing that I do whenever I use this thing is that I will write hi, <laughs> which feels like <laughs> I feel ancient when I do that because it's obviously not necessary. But there is a little part of me that feels like I don't want to be rude, even though this is not a living thing. But then I also think one day, if it becomes sentient and robots take over and AI takes over, I wanted to remember that I was nice. So I always write hi, even when I'm asking for Excel formulas, I'm like, hi, can you give me an Excel formula to solve this problem? And it's, you know, it's completely unnecessary but I do it anyway. I also just automatically write thank you whenever I get what I need, which again, is unnecessary, but there you go. My need to be polite is very deeply ingrained in me. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna write this. Can you recommend me a book? I would like an adventure fiction book for adults. I've already read and liked The Smoke Hunter, Angels and Demons, Crocodile on the Sandbank, and Miss Benson's Beetle. I would like something in the style of the movies Tomb Raider, Indiana Jones, 
and the mummy. I feel like I'm I could be more specific, but I don't want to be too specific in case I can't find anything. And I'll just add more information later if I feel like I need to. So it's giving me five book recommendations. It's recommending The Lost City of the Monkey God by Douglas Preston, which is a non-fiction book, so I don't know about that. The Eight by Catherine Neville, which I do actually have a copy of, and I feel like based on what I know about that book, I haven't read it yet, that's a good recommendation, but I don't want to read that one because I already have it. Then it recommends The Da Vinci Code, which I've read. The Eye of the Tiger by Wilbur Smith. I don't think I've read, and then King Solomon's Mines, which is a classic adventure novel. I feel like those two last recommendations could be interesting, but I want to try and give it a little bit more information to see if I can tweak it a little bit more because there are some elements to this kind of book that I would like to see in it, and I'll see if I can find something. If not, I'll check out those two books at the bottom. So I'm asking for something like I just described, but with a female protagonist and with an archaeology element. It does recommend me the Amelia Peabody series by Elizabeth Peters, which I did write that I'd already read, but that's fine. The Indiana Jones and the Larry Croft series by Rob McGregor, which I guess is based on the movies. I'm not that interested in reading those kinds of books. I want something different. But the last three here do look interesting. So I want to check out the last three on this list and see if I want to read one of them, but I do just want to ask it if it can find me something similar to that, but historical fiction as well, just so we have a little bit of different stuff to choose from and we'll see if it comes up with anything good. Now this recommends me four books that I haven't read of. It's recommending me The Eight again, which again I think is a good recommendation, but the other four I have not heard of, but I think this is enough to find something and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look them up on Goodreads and just read a little bit more about them and then I'll pick something from that, but I'm going to be honest, this went better than I thought. Having said that, I haven't read the books yet, but like, I feel like this is doing a pretty good job. <laughs> so I've just quickly looked up a lot of these books on Goodreads and these four are the ones that stand out to me the most. We have The Dark City, which is the first one in the Relic Master series, Nefertiti's Heart, and The Hunt for Atlantis, and The Mistress of Nothing. These are the ones that I, I think I'm gonna pick one of these. A funny thing about adventure books for adults is that the covers, <laughs> so many of the covers are so bad, and I think, I don't, like, what is this? I don't know, but there are so many bad books and, or not bad books, but bad covers. And usually what I'll do if I look up a book and I don't like the cover, I will look at different editions. And with a lot of adventure books, all of them are just terrible. But yeah, I'm gonna have to pick one of these. So I've read all of the synopsis for this and I'm just gonna pick one. And I'm gonna pick the one with the least terrible cover, which is this one, Nefertiti's Heart by A.W. Exley. I'm just gonna give it a go. I did look into the series and it seems like the other books in that series might be interesting as well. So I'm gonna give this a go. It does say that it's like steampunk. An adventure comes like, it's pretty far down here, but it does appear to be an adventure book, so I think I'm gonna try this one. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm gonna go for this one, The Hunt for Atlantis. It appears to be a little bit more of a chunky book, but I can deal with that. I think, yeah, I'm just gonna go for this one. I really do not like the cover, but they're all terrible and it's fine. This is my pick for the adventure book. I am gonna put the other ones on my TBR on Goodreads, just maybe I'll want to read them later. But yeah, I guess the first pick is this one. All right, moving on. The second book recommendation that I want to try to find is a book about female friendship. This is not as hard to find really, but 
for some reason I kind of struggled to find them anyway and I thought maybe this could recommend me one that I haven't heard of before so we're gonna try that I do feel like I haven't read that many books with female friendship in them but some of them I love but then there's also a couple that I didn't like as much but I'm gonna try to guided in the right direction. So what I'm gonna write for this is can you recommend me a book about female friendship? I've read Miss Benson's Beetle by Rachel Joyce and loved it. That's my favorite book that has a female friendship at the center but I would not like something like Little Women which is a book it's not about female friendship in a way it's about siblings but I really did not like that book and that's the closest thing to that kind of book about females that I don't want. I know that not liking Little Women is controversial, but I just, it just wasn't for me. So it had a little bit of a glitch, but it's now recommending me these four books. The Interestings by Meg Wallister, which I have actually read, so I'll be skipping that one. The Girls from Corona Del Mar, I haven't heard of. The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, I have heard of. I haven't read it and I don't want to. And then it recommends The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, which I have read. And I think that's an interesting recommendation and not really what I'm looking for. I think of this list, the one that might be interesting is The Girls from Corona Del Mar. But I'm going to try to be a little bit more specific and see if I can get some other more specific recommendations. So I'm asking it if I can get a recommendation based on the same information but I would like it to be fiction for adults and for the main characters to be adults. And I recommend the ensemble which follows four musicians. That immediately loses me. I don't want to read anything about musicians. For some reason that in fiction just doesn't work for me. The Girls by Emma Klein which follows a teenage girl which isn't what I want. The Last Romantics by Tara Conklin which tells the story of four siblings and then the friend which follows a woman who inherits this dog. This isn't really what I want I think. It seems like it's recommending me a lot of like sibling stuff and that's not really what I'm looking for so I'm gonna try to be even more specific I guess. So I'm trying to tell it that I don't want it to be about siblings and I don't want it to be in the young adult genre and it recommends The Vanishing Half which I feel like we're getting closer although that is about twin sisters. That's more my jam. I've read it and I really like it. The Island of Sea Women sounds interesting. It's about two friends who grow up on the Korean island of... This might be more interesting. I haven't heard of that but I have heard of Lisa C. And I have read another book by Lisa C that I didn't love, but I think there's some potential with her. The Red Tent, which reimagines a biblical story. Don't want to read that. And then it recommends My Brilliant Friend, which is a book I don't know if I'm going to like. So I've been avoiding it ever since it came out. But a lot of people do recommend it to me and I think I might like it. But I'm not going to read it for this because I've heard of it. I'm going to look up the book by Lisa C and then one of the first recommendations which was The Girls from Corona Del Mar and I'm going to see if one of those might be it. Looking these up I think The Girls from Corona Del Mar is not appealing to me that much but The Island of Sea Women might be it. I'm gonna give it one more go and try to get it to recommend me books that are like My Brilliant Friend but is not that book and see if it gives me anything. Okay, so I'm not having much luck with that. It's recommended me Conversations with Friends, which I haven't read, The God of Small Things, which I have heard of, The House of the Spirits, and The Joy Luck Club. I've read The Joy Luck Club and I'm not re I didn't love it. It was okay but I didn't love it. And then I asked for even more recommendations and none of those really appeal to me. I have read The House on Mango Street, which is great. I have the mothers on my TBR and so I want to read it, but it's not really what I'm looking for. So I wonder if we're gonna go with The Island of Sea Women because that's the best recommendation I've gotten so far. I'm surprised 
this is more difficult than the adventure stuff. I thought that was going to be the hardest one, so I started off with that. But this is harder for some reason. Maybe I should try to find one just about friendship and not female friendship. But I want a book about female friendship. I think we're just going to go with this, The Island of Sea Women, and see how it goes. It does sound very intriguing. We're going to go with that and move on. It does look really good, so I'm going to try that out. Next, I'm going to try something, and I don't think I'm going to get a book recommendation out of it, but it would be interesting if I did. I can't imagine it's going to tell me about anything I haven't heard of and that I actually want to read, which might be a little bit of an arrogant thing to say, but let's try it. So what I'm going to ask it for is can you recommend me a book similar to The Secret History by Donna Tartt? Which, if you don't know, it is probably my favorite book. And I'm gonna write, I've already read If We Were Villains, Ninth House, and Babel, because those are the three ones that I've read that is the most similar. I've never been able to find anything like The Secret History, and I think the reason this is gonna be a difficult thing to recommend is that in The Secret History, one of my main, main favorite parts of it is the writing and not just the themes. And I think this recommends mostly based on like themes and stuff, but we're gonna try and see. So it is recommending The Likeness by Tana French, which I have on my TBR because it's like dark academia and it's similar to The Secret History. So that's a good recommendation, but I wonder if I can get it to recommend me something that I haven't heard of. Okay, so one of the recommendations is The Goldfinch, which I, I've read, but the other one I haven't heard of, The Basic Eight by Daniel Handler, but it's about high school students. I'm gonna look it up and see. So just reading about it, I understand the recommendation, but it's not quite, I think, what I'm looking for. So I might just like save that for later. I'll see if it can come up with a couple more. So it's giving me another two recommendations. The second one is I feel a good recommendation because I already have that book and I got it because I'd heard that it was a little bit similar in like themes and stuff to The Secret History. The first one here though I have not heard of. So we're gonna look it up. So this looks interesting enough but it's not quite capturing me. None of these really are. So I think I'm gonna give up on that for now and I'm gonna ask it for something else and I hope that I'll be able to find this. I want a graphic novel and we'll see if I can find a new one that I want to read. So what I want is a graphic novel that is a standalone, so it's not in a series, and I'm mentioning a couple that I've read. Sheets by Brenda Thumbler, The 100 Nights of Hero by Isabel Greenberg, and Pumpkinheads. And we'll see if it can come up with anything. Okay, so it's recommending On a Sunbeam, which I have not heard of, so we are gonna look it up. So this could definitely be an option. I think the story sounds really interesting. It's set in like space, so it's science fiction. It says it's LGBT, which is cool, but the cover is not doing a lot for me. And especially with graphic novels, usually the cover will say something about what the art is like on the inside and this doesn't look quite like my favorite type of art. So I might give it a go but I'm gonna see if it can recommend me some others. So I asked it for five more and it's recommending three that I've heard of so I'm not gonna do any of those. The last three ones, so this one summer, The Encyclopedia of Early Earth and The Arrival, I've all heard of those. But the first two I have not heard of and the first one sounds interesting, called My Favorite Thing is Monsters. So this is the first in a series, so we're not gonna do that one. Also, the art doesn't quite look like my style, but maybe this. So this is a graphic novel memoir, and based on the cover, I think this could be interesting. So this is definitely a contender, but I'm gonna ask it for more, see if it can find me something like sweet, and cute and maybe a little bit magical 
Maybe you can recommend me something like that. Okay, so when I ask it for something with magical elements, it recommends The Sandman, which I'm not gonna read for this, Through the Woods, which I've read, The Tea Dragon Society, which I've read and it's very, very sweet, Nimona, which I've heard of and I want to read, but we're not gonna read it for this, and Monstrous, which I've also heard of. I think maybe I want a recommendation that is a little bit lighter and not so dark. I think this might be more my speed. It recommends Be Prepared, which is a memoir, which I'm not that into. El Defo, which is a memoir about a young girl who becomes deaf again. Not sure I want a memoir. In Real Life, which is a story about a teenage girl who becomes friends with a gold farmer in an online game. That could be interesting. The Prince and the Dressmaker, I have read. That's very sweet and a good recommendation. And then Giant Days. I'm gonna look up in real life and Giant Days. So I'm not gonna do Giant Days because it's the first in a series, but in real life, I looked at it because I thought it was in a series and it doesn't seem like it actually is. I think it's a standalone. And this looks very much like something that I would like. So I think maybe we'll do this one. That means though, that I have found my three books, but I do just want to ask it for one more thing, which is, can you recommend me any dark academia books? And I'm just gonna see if it recommends me something I haven't heard of. So it obviously recommends The Secret History, which is a great recommendation. It recommends If We Were Villains, but then also The Picture of Dorian Gray, which I guess I kind of get. Brides Had Revisited, which, I did not know was about that. And then the last one I actually haven't heard of, which I'm a little surprised by that. Maybe it's just me thinking I know all the Dark Academia books, but maybe I'm gonna have to, I think I have Brideshead Revisited on my shelves. I think it's quite a chunky book, but The Magus I've never heard of. So let me just quickly look that up. You know what? That actually looks really good. I'm a little surprised by that, but I'm gonna add that to my TBR. That was just for fun. I'm not gonna read that for <laughs> this vlog that I'm gonna do, but I might have to delve a little bit deeper into getting some Dark Academia recommendations here as well. I don't know about you, but I thought that was very interesting. It went in some ways better than I thought, and then some things are obviously very difficult to find for some reason, but very, very interesting. I'll be reading. I have to go get these three books, but I'll be reading them for a vlog and I'll try to do it as soon as the books arrive or I've gotten all of them. But I think all of them are gonna be interesting reads. I don't know if I've been too generous with like looking up the books and maybe I should have just taken what it gave me, but I also actually do want to try and find books that I'm gonna like, and I think I'm gonna like all of these. It does feel like a strange way to get book recommendations though, and I can tell that there are some things that it, like the program, it doesn't understand what I'm trying to get at, which I totally get, but I wonder like how it's gonna improve in the coming years. I think that's gonna be very, very interesting because right now it's just like a language thing but these things evolve all the time and they get developed and it is equal parts fascinating and terrifying <laughs> i think i've read so many dystopian books that my mind immediately like imagines the worst possible scenario with these things but i do also think it can be a helpful tool and hopefully it will never replace people but I don't know, it might. This might replace me in a few years and no one will need me for anything. Although my friends usually want book recommendations so I'll have to recommend them all the books. I do think these kinds of things are gonna be a big part of our future and it'll be interesting to see in what way and how it develops and evolves. But for now, this was just a fun thing to do. I got three books that I'm gonna read and we'll see how it goes. I wonder if I'm gonna like all of them because I feel like I will. I feel like it did a good job of recommending books and then since I looked into them and picked the one that appealed to me the most, I feel like it should be good, but 
you never really know. I don't know if it takes into consideration like reviews and stuff, which could be interesting, but I don't know what it's really basing it on except blurbs because it's a pure language thing. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to get the books and read them and see. And I'll let you know <laughs> once I've read them. The vlog will be up who knows when, but I'm gonna do it as soon as the books get here and try to make my way through them and see if this robot future thing has done me a good service. That's it for this video though. I hope you enjoyed watching it. It was fun for me at least. And if you ever tried to get this to recommend you books, what did you get? And do you feel like it worked? I think that could be interesting. And if you haven't tried it and you try it after this video, come back and tell me how it went because I think that could be very interesting. As always though, thank you very much for hanging out with me today and I will see you soon. Bye!